Hello everyone, this is Dragonfly. Welcome to the first video in our DCS World Mission Building Series. What we're going to be doing is developing an overall scenario and putting about six or seven single player missions within it, showing you how to use some of the triggers and uh, some of the basic mission editor uh, concepts. So let's Hit the mission editor, create a new mission, and get started. And it will bring up your choice of maps. In our case, we're going to be using the Caucasus map. And I'll just briefly go over the scenario that we're going to be uh, developing. What uh, our assumptions are is that a red forces have attacked a village in uh, the Caucasus called Samtridia with uh, helicopters using chemical weapons. And this has evoked a UN response, several resolutions, including a no-fly zone resolution over the country, as well as a uh, UN monitoring inspection teams moving into the area and also humanitarian aid moving into the area. As part of the military arm of this UN force that is moving into the Black Sea, uh, the UN has requested that the United States provide a Marine Expeditionary Force uh, to the area and we're going to be part of the Marine Expeditionary Force on a, a Tarawa class uh, landing helicopter transport ship. Okay, so as far as coalitions, there's really not too much you need to change in here. A lot of people like to put U.S. Air Force aggressors on the red side uh, and uh, that uh, in that way, you can use all of the red units. Okay, let's hit OK. Bring up the uh, Caucasus map, brand new map. Now, I mentioned the overall scenario uh, for the uh, missions, but uh, we need to talk briefly also about what we're going to be doing today. Today's mission that we're going to build and uh, the concept behind that is that a UN humanitarian aid column is trying to proceed to Samtridia. And there's a bridge south of Samtridia that enemy forces are blocking and are not allowing the aid column to cross. They have about four armored vehicles there and uh, they're just preventing the UN from crossing. So. Our mission will be to knock out those vehicles and allow the UN aid column to get into Sam Treaty and help the uh, survivors out. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do on the map is go into the weather tab, and that's the date, time, and weather over here on the left menu. It looks like a little cloud. And for the date, I'm just going to change it to September because I, I like the fall map in the Caucasus. And I'm going to change the year to 2008. Uh, kind of an idiosyncrasy in uh, um, DCS world, at least in, in mine. Uh, past 2009, I can't put a Tarawa down. And I, I'm not sure why that is because in my reading the Tarawa didn't retire until 2015 but maybe uh, maybe I'm incorrect in that um, and for a time I don't want to get up too early so let's put 10 o'clock and other than that I'm not going to change anything else I'm going to leave the light scattered all the sunrise all that stuff uh, and turbulence all that uh, have some pretty nice weather today. So the first thing we want to do is, is uh, put the Tarawa on the map. So I'll go to the Naval Add or Modify Ship Group. And in the type, I'll go down to Tarawa. I'll put the skill at high. Uh, 
and I'll name just name it the USS Tarawa. And I'll place it about 12 miles or so off the coast. Let's put it down here. We'll start down here and we'll drive north. Okay, and the heading is already at north, so that's good. And we're on the add tab right now, which and on the waypoint route tab, which is what we want because we'll put our uh, waypoints in first. So I'll put our first waypoint way up here. To the north, that's one, two, three, four, five. The speed of the uh, ship is 27 knots, and as I said, the uh, start time is about 10 o'clock in the morning, and by the time it gets to 0.5, it'll that'll be almost four hours, three hours and 45 minutes. Plenty of time for our mission. Okay, now under advanced waypoints, let's go back to the starting point. Under advanced waypoint, it says to activate attack in. We want to do that. So I'll select edit. I'm going to use channel 11 and I'm going to call it the call letters TAR. And for the unit, USS Tara 1. It's very important you link that tack in to the uh, to the ship. Okay. So that should be good for the ship. Now let's put an airplane on the ship. Zoom in here pretty good. Go over to the add or modify airplane group. Select that. We're gonna be doing an aviate Harrier. It is going to be a client airplane. And I'll go ahead and set that down. Then we'll change the uh, rest of the items. Okay. Let's call it. I'm going to call it a, a cold ship Harrier. That way we know it doesn't have any power on it and that we're starting cold and dark off the ship. For the pilot, I'll put my call sign, Dragonfly. Okay, we're on the route. Let's see. And we are on, oop, on add. So let's put our route in real quick. Or we'll actually, we'll just put the first point in because we haven't... Uh, picked our target location yet. So we'll put our first point up here. Uh, and I, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and put a couple points in. We'll pull them around to where we need them later. So let's see, two, three, four, and then back to the tower will ought to be plenty. Call sign will be Colt 1-1. One, one. Okay, so let's put our target in, then we'll go ahead and finish with the weaponeering on the airplane. Here's the uh, Samtredia area, and to the south of it is the bridge that we're going to be using. 
we're going to put in some enemy ground forces, so ground units. And we'll use Russian. And as I said, we're only going to put four in for this uh, basic mission. And uh, I like to put the uh, skill at random. And we're going to call them Red Bridge Guard. And we'll put one uh, main battle tank and three APCs. So let's put the main battle tank over here, looking at the bridge. So with the heading towards the south. So I said we want four units, so we'll come over here and up that to four. And we want to edit the position of these units. If we uh, click on the first unit, well, first thing I'm going to edit here, we can actually move the whole group. You click on any of the others and you can move them individually. So let's move one over here and one up here and one here. Okay, now let's change what types they are. So the first one will be a T-72. The second one will make an APC, so armor subcategory, armor personnel carrier, APC BTR-80 is good. The third one, well, we'll make an MTLB. And number four, we'll make another uh, BTR-80. So those are our four armor units. Those are our targets. And they're just going to be sitting there at the bridge. We're not going to have them move, so we're not going to put a, uh, a, a route in or anything like that. So we can go ahead and go back to our airplane and put in those points. Okay, select the airplane or the uh, Harrier route. I'm just gonna, let's see. One's just take off leg. Point two we'll call our ingress point. Point three we'll drag over the target area. Let's zoom in here a little bit and make sure that we had it fairly close to the target area. There it is. And we'll call that one target. Find point four. Point four will be our egress point. We'll egress back out over the uh, river. Call it egress. And then point five will be a landing point. And since this is a client airplane, let's make sure that it is. Yes. Uh, we don't really need to put the speed or altitude in because we're going to do what we want or what we need to do to, to accomplish the mission. So the route's complete. And one thing I forgot, let's go back to the uh, start point on the uh, route of flight, waypoint zero. And down here under the type, make sure this is take off from ramp. I mean, you can you can take off from runway, take off from parking hot and, and, and such like that, but we want a cold 
dark carrier on the ship. And so what you use is take off from ramp. Okay, and now let's just go over to the payload menu and load up the airplane with what we want. We go into the mission payload section, and I've actually already got it loaded here, but uh, we can put uh, what loadout we want. And we're gonna do uh, sidewinders on the uh, outboards just for IR Mavericks. Air to ground missiles, Fs. Air to ground missile, F. Air to ground missile, F. And then a gun with armor piercing bullets. Now, when we get into the um, actual airplane, we'll probably change this loadout a little bit. Uh, for some reason, in the mission editor, you can't put sidearms on the outboards but you can from with within the mission you know when you call up the crew chief and change you can change out your loadout that way so an, another little uh, just a small little bug okay so that's the payload there are no triggered actions the summary just kind of shows the uh, route of flight And we're not going to put failures in, and we're not going to really, we're not going to change any of the radio presets. Okay, so the aircraft is done. Now we need to put in the UN column. So let's put it. Don't want to put it too close to these guys, or they'll shoot each they'll shoot at each other. And uh, let's let's come back down here this area that should be uh, one way I can check yeah so the detection range goes out to here so I'll put I'll put the column right here under that yeah, actually right here at this intersection ground units and these are USA, and we'll call them UN aid column. And they are going to be unarmed. And the type will be and we'll put in about oh five trucks. Okay. Put the first one in, point it in the general direction, and then put in five of them. Okay. Now I'll put in a, 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 a route since we are still on the route page. Uh, we'll just put our first point here and our second point will be up at this intersection which will be their end point and I'm going to put them on road on road and you see the route will snap to the uh, actual roads And you go back to zero and put on road too to get them on the road all the way. Now we're going to say edit. And 
actually there's her okay those are spaced pretty good so that's our UN column But let's talk a little bit about uh, triggers and uh, what we want done in this mission. Obviously, we don't want the UN column to be moving until the four targets are, the four armor targets are destroyed. So for our first trigger, we'll go over here to trigger, set rules for trigger. We'll put new. The name of this one is going to be UN column. It's darts. And type of condition that we are going to put in there is all of uh, as a group is dead group let's say group dead and it's going to come down here and we're going to put which group we want we want a, the red bridge guard dead before the uh, action takes place now there's two ways of doing this. Um, I'm gonna do it using a, a flag. You can use the action group activate, but when you do that, uh, these trucks won't be in the mission until uh, the actual group activate action starts. But if you use a flag, they actually will spawn at the beginning of the mission and then using the flag, I can start them down the road. So here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we need to put the flag is on. Let's see, flag is true is what I'll use. Yeah, flag on. Flag on. And I'll use flag number 50. And I'm going to come back over here for, as a reminder. And all this is a label. And I'm going to put slash set flag 50. Okay. Let's see. Let's go back to the UN column. And in the advanced waypoints, let's make sure we're on waypoint zero. We're going to add an advanced waypoint to perform a task to hold. that hold and they're going to hold until flag 50 is on so that would be a stop condition so is user flag 50 if, if that is true that's going to stop the, this condition this hold condition so what we're saying is if the red bridge guard has been destroyed, then the UN column will proceed. Now, let's go back to our trigger here and select it. Okay, the condition, the group dead, flag on 50. We kind of like to know when that happens, so I'm going to put a message in here to the coalition that says
un column is proceeding to Sam Tridia. And well, I like keeping them up for about 30 seconds. So that's that trigger. Now I'm going to use a trigger zone just to show you how to use those. We're going to, to create a trigger zone, which is right here. And, and I'm going to place it down here around waypoint two, which is where we want the uh, UN column to proceed to. That radius is way too big. At about a thousand, I guess, would be a good radi radius. Yeah. And we're going to call that zone. UN aid delivered zone. And we'll make it blue. Just, well, it doesn't really look blue, but <laughs> okay. At least the writing is blue. Okay, so for our second trigger, we're going to say when that, when our UN column, when part of it is in that uh, aid delivered zone, that it sets another flag. So we need a new trigger, and we'll call this UN aid delivered. And we'll say set flag. And we'll just use 51. Okay, and the condition for that UN aid being delivered is that the column is in that trigger zone. So we'll just say part, I'm just going to say part because sometimes they don't all make it into the zone. So part of the group in zone, it's a good one to use. And we're talking about the UN aid column and the zone is the UN aid delivered zone. So when that happens, flag 51 comes on and we'll have a message that says mission successful. Okay, so message to coalition, blue, I said I'd like to do them for about 30 seconds, and I'll just say mission six, successful. Aid is being delivered to the residents of Sam Tridia. We can actually go up to the uh, mission goals. I'll just show you this to define mission goals. Hit new on mission goal. And we'll just say that we'll score 100. Um, and the name again, this is just a label. UN 
aid delivered. And the conditions on that is, is basically when flag 51 goes on, flag is true, 51. So basically when the column reaches this trigger zone, flag 51 will come on. And that means it was a successful mission for what we have uh, defined as our mission. And I could just briefly, in the, uh, on the mission briefing on the sortie, name this uh, UN Aid Relief and just say, we'll just say the, the situation is clear, the SAM, SAM Treaty Bridge of enemy armor so that UN aid can be delivered. Okay, so we got our goals in there. We've got the airplane in there, we've got the target in there, and we also have our UN aid column. So that shows you basically how to use a couple of basic triggers and uh, how to set targets down and how to set an airplane down. You know, you can set it on a ship, you can set it on a field, where, wherever. In uh, later missions, we'll build a FARP and set an airplane on the FARP. And let's start it up. Okay. Uh, it comes up to our choice of roles. Cold ship Harrier. Start position on the Tarawa. Hit fly. And now you can see we're just sitting here on a pretty sparse Tarawa right now. We'll, we'll uh, pretty it up later. And, some of our future videos. And kind of also wanted to see this is our target area. See, there's one of the tanks, another of the tanks. That one's a little close on the bridge, but it's okay. And there is the uh, UN aid column ready to get started. Well, thanks for joining me in this first video in our mission building tutorial. In the next one, we'll add some SAMs in and I'll give you a, a few extra uh, triggers that I, I find very useful. Well, until next time, Dragonfly out.